I am 49 years old. I am based in Copenhagen. Uh, I'm a professor at Learning Lab Denmark, the Danish University of Education. I was originally trained as a literary scholar. Uh, my main interest, uh, I would guess, is uh, semiotics. Uh, I recently completed a large uh, treatise on uh, a special, the special sign type of diagrams. Uh, the treatise is called uh, Diagrammatology. It uh, shall appear in the uh, Springer Verlag in a couple of months, uh, here spring 2007. Um, and uh, as I said, it uh, deals with the sign type of uh, diagrams. I think it's an overlooked uh, sign type. Uh, you can see how important diagrams are in uh, a broad range of uh, text types, uh, going from newspaper articles where diagrams like uh, maps or column diagrams or uh, cake diagrams uh, in an, an easy way uh, is able to communicate uh, large uh, complicated masses of information uh, in the one end and in the other end uh, you can take lots of uh, different scientific texts where uh, diagrams very often appear uh, in a crucial role uh, because it's diagrams that uh, sum up the achievements of, an, of a uh, scientific text, uh, not only in the natural sciences but also in uh, social sciences and humanities where you also often meet diagrams in the shape of maps or charts or uh, schemata of all sorts. So, um, that's, that's the main issue of that book, that's uh, diagrams, and uh, my main inspiration in, in that book is the American founder of pragmatism, Charles Peirce, uh, in, his, in the mature version of his uh, thought, uh, there's a, a doctrine of diagrams he develops in the years between 1898 and 1910 or something like that. Uh, and uh, this doctrine of diagrams has not been uh, subject to much scrutiny until now, so uh, I think there's, there's also an interest in trying to uh, reconstruct uh, his, his doctrine of, of diagrams. <coughs> uh, in addition to that, uh, I'm the editor of the Danish uh, periodical Critique. I've been there for 12 or 13 years, uh, appearing uh, four times a year. Um, and uh, another project I recently uh, had the good luck of finishing uh, is called Tankens Macht, uh, The Power of Thought, uh, 2,500 pages, um, History of Ideas, which I co-edited with two other guys. and. Uh, with uh, contributions from all, almost uh, 60 different Scandinavian scholars, a very uh, broad, uh, broadly conceived uh, history of ideas uh, ranging from the uh, history of technological ideas over uh, sciences, politics, aesthetics, human and social sciences, and to uh, religion and Theology. So it's a, a, a history of ideas that covers a, a, a very broad uh, spectrum. Um, in addition to that, I, I would say I've, I have been, uh, I've, I have taken much uh, interest in political discussions uh, during the recent years. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, we live in a period where it's where the uh, support for the rule of law, for democracy, for liberal principles is uh, more is, is, is more important than, than it has been for a long time. So uh, I have I've taken much uh, interest in uh, different uh, political issues. Uh, 2003 and 2004, I co-wrote two books on the war uh, on the Balkans in the. 90s, uh, together with Jens Martin Eriksen, we wrote two, two, uh, two books trying to 
dig into the roots of the, of the of the conflicts in the countries of the former Yugoslavia and uh, draw on some principal political lessons uh, lessons from from those conflicts. So uh, that's that's uh, another issue I've been very interested in uh, during the last last couple of years.